Hey there, today I'll show you how to create this awesome, vibrant, and super impactful gradient in Adobe Illustrator. This kind of image can be used for posters, as a splash screen, or as a background on your website. As you can see in the new file, I've prepared color examples that I'll be using to create the gradient. You can find the color codes in the description box. Let's do it. First off, I'll create a curved line using the pen tool. The line should have 8 points, matching the number of colors in the gradient. You can use more or fewer colors, adjusting the line accordingly. Next, using the anchor point tool, I'll smooth out the curved line, adjusting the angle at each vertex to make it more rounded. This curved line will serve as a guide for the upcoming gradient. I'll align the curve to the center of the artboard. Now I'll create a circle with a diameter of 500 points. This is an arbitrary diameter, you can choose any value. Then I'll color the circle with the first color from the gradient set. I'll make a copy of this circle and place it next to the opposite point of the first segment, coloring this circle with the second color. Next, I'll create circles for each color and place them next to each point on the curved line, creating a kind of zigzag. After that, I'll select the first two circles using the selection tool. Then I'll go to Object, Blend, and choose Make. By the way, sometimes the blend effect might not work immediately. For example, if you apply the blend effect to two gradient-filled circles. In such cases, you need to go to Object, Blend, and select Blend Options. In the window that appears, if the spacing parameter is set to smooth color, which might not work correctly. I change it to specified steps with a value of 1000 for maximum smoothness. Now the blend effect looks good, and its shape can be adjusted as desired. Now, I select the resulting blend effect and the next circle. Then I go back to the object tab, select blend, and choose make. Great. This way, I'm adding each circle to the blend effect, step by step. Once all circles are combined with the blend effect, I select the curved line and go to Object, Blend, and choose Replace Spine. As a result, I've achieved this vibrant and unusual gradient. Now, I can delete the color examples. After that, I might tweak the curve bends a bit and even adjust the diameters of some circles to add more depth and dynamism to the pattern. This way, the gradient looks even more interesting and striking. That wraps up this tutorial video. Eventually, I've achieved this impactful and vibrant gradient. I hope you enjoyed this gradient style and this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon.